Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I know it's a little bit late, um, but I am going to be doing a little bit of a battle of the boxes. Today, I have Birch Box versus Allure Box. I just signed up for Allure Box this December. Um, I've been wanting to try it. I'm really enjoying getting these subscription boxes. I didn't used to. I used to be signed up to Ipsy and I forgot. I think I was signed up to Birchbox before, but I had stopped doing it about a year ago. And then once I started doing my channel, I kind of realized that I really enjoyed watching other people do unboxings. So um, first I got the Boxy Charm, and then I got Birchbox, and now I've got the Allure Box. So today I just thought, because these are both actually the same price, this one is actually $15 starting next month. But this month, because it was my first month, it was $10. So I thought I would compare the two and see how they compare with each other and what the quality and the quantity of the items that you get. So I figured since I've done Birchbox before, I figured I'd go into this one again. This is, as I said, the December edition. Really pretty box um, this month um, with the gold and kind of like fireworks and for New Year's and stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. I peeked into them when I first got them, and honestly, I haven't opened them in the past two weeks since I have received them. So this is going to be sort of a surprise, sort of, kind of, anyway. When you open these boxes, it does come with a card right on top. And for this one, it says, no matter the festive fete planned or last minute, we hope this box helps the spirited, joyful vibes you send out this season come back to you full circle. And it says, and we've included a special extra eyelash curler to help you face every moment of the holidays with a wink and a smile. So that's pretty cool. But I guess that's an extra thing. And I'm going to find out if it's an extra thing. Of course, on the back, they tell you what everything is. I will wait to go over them and let you know what it says about them and the prices that come in. So since they mentioned the eyelash curler, we did indeed get an eyelash curler. So funny because I just bought one like the week before that I got this box. Oh well. I guess you can't have too many. Of course it seems to be hermetically sealed that I can't get into it. This one looks actually petite. It's kind of cute. It's got a blue handle. Looks pretty nice. Oh, and it comes with those clips to keep it closed, which is actually kind of cute. Just don't you don't want to lose the clip. It's very much spring action. It's very ergonomical. I'm not going to try it on my eyelashes right now because I have um, mascara on and I don't want to crimp it. Um, hopefully it'll fit. I have trouble usually with eyelash curlers because on um, some of them are too big and then it'll fit on this eye and this eye I have a really hard time getting the end of my lashes. So I will see how this one um, works and if it works out. So that's not bad. Um, let's see what the value of it is. I'm not wearing my glasses right now. I'm trying not to, anyway. Um, so it says, okay, Birch Box Eyelash Curler, so I guess it is branded from them. It retails for $13. says, for an eye-opening effect, gently clamp lashes from the base of your lash line, then apply mascara. For extra long-lasting curl, heat your curler for 10 seconds with a blow dryer. I haven't done that in a while. Maybe. I will try it again. Okay. $13. I paid $10 for my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. It's pretty nice. Doesn't have the ergonomic handle, but I guess that's a decent price for it. The next thing we have here is Wish Botanical Primer. Oh, it's a primer. Okay. Um, I currently have a lot of primers because I've been getting a lot of sample primers in with my orders and even in these boxes and everything. So I can't read what the back of it says. So, and I've never heard of Wish before, the brand. But let's read what it says here. Wish Botanical Primer the, says the full size would be $35, which I have a hard time paying $35 for a primer, especially if I don't know the brand. I have... Urban Decay primers, Smashbox primers, and those are pretty pricey, but I'm also quite familiar with them. If I like this, I can go back on and come back on and let you know if I like it and see how it performs and let you know whether I think it's worth $35 or not. It says Botanical Primer, so I'm going to put my glasses on for this one because it's getting small. And it says, prep your complexion with this primer that balances, moisturizes, and protects using a blend of Japanese honeysuckle 
interesting. Organic safflower seed oil and sea buckhorn extract. That's pretty cool. Uh, if this is a moisturizing primer, I will be pretty excited because I have dry skin. And I usually use kind of a pore filling primer in and around my nose in certain areas, but I do really like hydrating primers. I'm anxious to try that. Again, the $35 price tag? I don't know. Okay, the next thing we have is True Fora. Again, a brand I have never heard of. Triple Action Exfoliator. Again, I have a on my sink a whole bunch of prim um, primers, a whole bunch of exfoliators because we keep getting them in the box. But that's okay. I like the little trial sizes that I will definitely use them up. Now, again, it says the full size of this is $45. That remains to be seen. I have a Dr. Brandt on my um, sink right now. That was probably close to that price. We'll see. So it says triple action exfoliator. This mask meets exfoliator gently purges pores thanks to glycolic and salicylic acid. Leave on for 5 to 15 minutes. Massage using circular motions and rinse. Okay, so it's actually a mask that exfoliates. Okay, I'm very much into masks. I'm excited to use it. Again, sometimes I question the full size you know, values of these boxes. But I'm not happy so far for my $10 box. I'm really not unhappy, I have to tell you. The next thing is um, by Aveda or Aveda. I never know how to say that one. It's Style Prep Smoothie. I'm assuming this is for hair. I'm never thrilled with hair care products because I have long hair and usually I don't get enough use out of it. This one isn't too bad. Um, sometimes I get the really teeny tiny ones that are annoying. Okay, so this is the Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. The full size is $25 that I agree with. I know um, this brand is pricey. Cut down on styling time with the smoothing treatment infused with organic aloe and guar bean, which prevents heat damage and shields against humidity for up to 12 hours. <coughs> it is definitely not humid right now. I have a problem since it's actually... I think it's 18 degrees out. I was outside before and it was 20, but since it's getting later, it's probably 18. It was down to 4 the other day. Um, this would probably be good for me in the summertime. In the summertime, I battle humidity. I never wear my hair straight in the summertime because it just it becomes a frizz ball. I become a giant puff ball. So that's that. I'm willing to try this. I'll probably get maybe one and a half use out of this because of the amount of hair I have. I'm going to try it not bad. Okie dokies. The next is a perfume and it's called Musk. Musk? Yeah. Soli Notes from Paris. I'll show you what it looks like anyway. And here's the little bottle came out but that's okay. Um, it's called Musk. What are the notes that it says? Soli Notes Paris. It's French obviously. Um... Hmm. I should play some background music for you. Okay. I don't know what the scent would be. Let's see. I think it says the top notes are bergamot. Then it has um what the next one of the next notes is jasmine. And I don't know what the last one is. Let's just smell it. Not that I can describe it, but let's just smell it. The only thing, I really wish they all made spray bottles. Who gets annoyed by these little freaking things? Like, what are you supposed to do with this? I know you're supposed to dip it in and, and put it on your arm, but I usually wind up just doing this. I really like the little spray bottles. To me, it's a, it's a lot better. <clears throat> Ooh, pretty. It is a little, it's a little musky. It's warm. I can't describe the scent, but it's not a florally scent. It's like a warm, wintry type scent. Let's just see what it says here. I didn't even read this. Solenotes Paris is the um, brand, and it's called Musk, unless um, I th I'm hoping it is. It's M U S C. Musk Eau de Parfum. The full size of it is $20. I kind of like it. I would spend $20 on it, absolutely. This combo of white musk, there we go, <laughs> mixed with hints of bergamot, rose, and jasmine makes for an extra sultry scent. That's a really good description. It is very sultry. I will agree with that 100%.
So that's nice. The next thing in, we have in here is another mascara. I literally have about 12 mascaras, a couple of full size that I've gotten in boxes, and a gazillion samples of mascara. I refuse to open. I have four mascaras open right now. I refuse to open more than four mascaras because it is such a waste. I'm hoping that these don't expire. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, before um, anything else. But this is from Stila. I've never tried a mascara from Stila before. I'm excited about this. Um, I happen to like, I love the Stila liquid lipsticks. I'm obsessed with those. I just bought, um, Sephora just had a sale. Uh, it was the sale on sale and so I got a whole bunch of things from there and they had like, the, from leftover from Christmas, they had like the trio of the mini lipsticks. I really prefer mini lipsticks over full size because I think I'm going to use them all up and I feel much better about that instead of letting things go to waste. Anyway, this looks like a pretty generous size. It still looks like a sample size, but it's a pretty generous sample size. Um, I love the packaging. It's like gold packaging. Um, it's got like, you know, gold uh, writing on it. Pretty cool. I've never seen this one before though, so let's see. Um, huge Extreme Lash Mascara. The full size is 23. That's fair. It's typical for a higher end mascara. The Inky Black Mascara lets your lashes go big in every way. One coat leaves major volume, curl, and length. I would let you know, I said, but I'm going to wait to try this because I have to go through all of the other samples that I currently have. But I'm pretty happy with the box. And then in here, in here, in here, one, two, yeah, so we did get that extra eyelash curler this, um, this time around because it's normally five items and the bonus eyelash curler. Um, this is a $10 off coupon. Um, after months of giving, don't forget to take a moment for yourself. That's why we're giving you subscribers $10 off any 50 um, that if you go into their shop, if you're a subscriber, well, the 10 off 50, you still have to spend 50 bucks, but if you're interested, it is 10 for 2018. 10 for 2018 in case you're interested in using it. The good thing about it is when you buy a full-sized item on Birchbox, you also gain points that will get you dollars that will get you free stuff. So it's kind of beneficial. I may or may not use this. When does it expire? It expires the end of this month. I might use it. Um, there are a couple of things that I got in last month's Birchbox that I was pretty interested in buying. Okay, so that is this month's birch box. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the value of it. Some people have issues with the things that you're getting in it, but to each their own, I guess I've been pretty happy. Yes, they are a lot of, some of them are indie brands. Some of the indie brands have been really, really good, let me tell you. No coffee today. Shocking, I know. I just didn't feel like making a pot of it. And obviously this lipstick is not kiss proof. And I bet it but I, yeah, and it was on my teeth too. Have I been talking to you this whole time? That lipstick on the teeth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. You know what I have to do? One of those things. Okay. Moving on. Allure Beauty Box. I happen to really like the box that it comes in. Um, it's shiny, it's pretty, it's cute. Some of these boxes I actually save. <laughs> That's kind of cute. When you open it up, it says Manny, Petty, Vici. <laughs> That's cute. As you open it up, I said I don't even remember what's in this box. It comes with some cards on top. Is this a sample of it? The Vanish Seamless um, Finish Foundation Stick. Oh, no. Hold on. This is just the... Oh, this is the pamphlet that tells you it happens to have Jaclyn Hill on the front of it. It tells you everything that you got. I really don't want to spoil it just yet, so I'm not going to look. Um, I will get into that when I want to look price and stuff. I just saw it because it happened to me this way. I saw the Hourglass um, foundation stick on the back, which I'm very interested in trying, actually. Next up here, there's a coupon for um, $20 gift off Bobble Bar. I've never ordered for them. I get emails from them all the time, but I've never ordered anything from them. $20 gift. Do you have to buy anything? Spires $120. Hmm. Towards your next full-priced order on Bobo Bar. Okay, it looks like you don't have to spend a certain amount of money. That means I'm going to go and be ordering me some piece of jewelry, which maybe I'll show you on my next month's thing. 
it's cute. It comes in a little wrap, like a present. Okay. The first thing I'm pulling out here in a little thing is from Becca. Ooh, it's a highlighter. It's champagne pop. I don't have champagne pop. Pan pop. Champagne pop. Say that three times. I have Prosecco pop. This one looks absolutely, oh, it's soft. It looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. I was going to actually buy this one, and I'm so glad that I didn't. Oh, my goodness. It is super soft, and I absolutely love it. I'm really, really happy. And it does have a mirror in it. Not that you could really use the mirror, but it does have a mirror. The only thing is they look like... All the other ones have that like little, looks like a little spaceship thing with the metal. They changed the packaging a little bit, but it's really cute. And I love it because I can throw it in my purse and have a highlighter in my purse because you got a sparkle. Your girl's got a sparkle, even at my age. As a matter of fact, am I wearing? No, I'm wearing my Becca highlighting um, today. The um, Apres Ski, oh, that highlighting palette. Oh my God, love that. That will be in my favorites. Speaking of favorites, yes, I didn't do a November and December. I didn't do a November favorites, and my December favorites is coming. I've been, I've been trying to film more, but that is actually coming because I have so many really good things to share in those favorites because I have two months. I did a lot of shopping in November and December, and oh boy, do I have some really cool stuff to share. Okay, the next thing in here is from... It says, is this from philosophy? It's from, it's, uh, yep, it's purity. Let me just get the, let me get the thing here and see exactly what it is. It is either, here we go, three-in-one cleanser for face and eyes. Hmm, okay. So this isn't a body wash. This is actually a facial cleanser, which I'm super excited. I have not tried this one. I haven't even gotten a sample of it, and I'm excited. I don't know if I'm going to use it on my eyes. I'm really specific about using certain things in my eyes because my eyes will tend to get cloudy. But as a face wash, I'm excited about that. And I didn't read the price of the full um, highlighter. So let's go into that. Okay, so the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter and Champagne Pop is what we talked about it. Um, there's a whole thing on it. I'm not going to bore you with reading the entire thing, but the full price is $38, which I do know to be true, um, and I'm super excited that I have that one now as well as Prosecco Pop. The Philosophy of Purity Made Simple One-Step Facial Cleanser. Um, again, I don't want to read the whole nine yards on it, but it says it actually has um, 12 essential oils in it, sandalwood, carrot, sage, meadow foam, which is really cool, and the full price is $24. Um, positive about that and if I really like this then this is going to be my next facial cleanser yay I like that they give a little booklet there it's really kind of cool <laughs> another mascara <laughs> I'm telling you people I am going to have mascara until 2019 or beyond and not have used them all but I don't have a Dior mascara I have like four Tarte mascaras, and uh, I can't even tell you how many Benefit mascaras I have. I am excited to try this one. Um, I don't know if I've seen reviews on this. If you've seen a review on this one, let me know. But this is the Dior Show mascara. And it even shows, I don't know why, it says new patented anti drying airlock system. Aha, because they show you this on the back. Essentially, it's I guess protects your mascara from drying out because that what hap that's what happens to a lot of you know mascaras that makes them go back quicker than they are. So that's really cool. Let's see what the original not original full size full size costs. The Dior Show mascara um, is twenty eight fifty. Again, pretty normal for a high end mascara. And it says an updated wiper system that guarantees when you pull the brush out of the tube you get the perfect mascara goop on the bristles. Tiny fibers are added to the fa uh, formula so you get richer, younger looking lashes. How do, you get, how do you get younger looking lashes? When do lashes look old? I don't know. Okay, so far I am super excited about this box. The three items that I pulled out so far I'm thrilled about. 
Okay, here's something from Orbe. Another, it's a, uh, it's another hair product which doesn't thrill me, but I love everything else so far. And this is the Matte Waves Texture Lotion. I guess for like giving you beachy waves or something, which I really don't do. But let's read. Let's read up on it. If I can find the page. One, two. Oh, here we go. Orbe Waves. Oribe Matte Waves Texture Lotion. Full size is forty two dollars. I have a hard time playing $42 for some hair products. Just saying. Sexy and effortless. Two words that accompany virtually every description of beach waves. It's to beach wave your hair, essentially. And it says it smooths frizz. Nothing really ever smooths frizz. Um, you can scrunch it into damp hair, twist, and air dry. I may or may not use this. I might give this to somebody. I'm still not mad at it. It's okay. Get a lot of things in this box. I'm really happy about it. Ooh, another one I'm happy about. The Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Another one I wanted to try. I haven't tried this one before. Did you notice I haven't had anything to swatch except for that highlighter? There was really nothing really to swatch. Wow, the little sample of this? It comes in a glass bottle. That's pretty darn cool. I would not expect that for a little sample size. And this is the Mineral Veil Primer, which I I have a lot of primers over, but to me they don't go bad as quickly. Th that's interesting. It's a spatula. Does the big one have a spatula? If you know what the big one has a spatula, let me know. It's a little pearlescent. Wow. It's super awesome. It like smoothed, you're not going to be able to see it on camera, it smoothed the back of my hand and feels amazing. I cannot wait to try this. This is try being tried tomorrow morning. Okay, loving everything so far. And the last thing in the box, and if you have cats, please tell me what your cats do with these. Mine get them all over the house and I have to take them away so they don't eat them. Aha, uh -huh. a Morphe brush. I own no Morphe brushes. Not throwing any shade at Morphe. I've just never bought them. And did I just do that wrong? Oops, it was, yeah. Did I, yeah, it was supposed to be in one of those Ziploc things that I ripped. I'm an idiot. Okay. They don't want, they really don't want you to open it. <laughs> hmm. I will be cutting this out of the video because I can't run away to open it. Ugh. Okay, the annoyance factor. Oh, I, I got it. I didn't have to do that. Oops. Anyway, it is a blending brush. It is, it is the M433 blending brush. It's fairly soft. Um, a blending brush is normally not completely flat. It's fatter in the middle. It's rounded at the top. And it seems okay. I mean, never tried it. Anxious to try it, though. I can let you know, I do like that they gave you one of these little thingies. But you can't... Oh. Uh, you can't get the thingy on it. Is it me today? Is it, is it just me? I mean, how are you supposed to get this? How are you supposed to get this back on without ruining your brush? Oh, you're supposed to slide it down. I am not a rocket scientist today. Today is my day of being a little ditzy. Okay. So that is it. I have to tell you. Hi, everybody. Sorry, of course, of course, of course, my battery had to die in the middle of me filming. Well, it was actually the end of me filming, but that's okay. So what I was starting to say before my camera so rudely cut me off was I did the Battle of the Boxes. And my thoughts this month is that I think the Allure Beauty Box won out over the Birch Box. Um, I'm still happy with them both, but I definitely am more excited about this box than... 
<laughs> it was upside down, than this one. I'm thinking about doing this every month. If you would like to see Battle of the Boxes every month, please let me know. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really hope you subscribe. My numbers are climbing. I'm at 29. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to my 30. Um, still, I'm always going to mention, still planning on doing that giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers. If I can get there, fabulous. Go over and follow me um, at Instagram, please, if you would like to see some of the looks that I do. I take a lot, post a lot of pictures on Instagram. It's uh, CyberKitty70. Um, or you can just search my name, Leanne Soreo. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous week, everything. And I'll be back and see you guys real soon. Bye.